Okay, in this video, we're going to go over uh, what it means to take the nth root of a number uh, and also rational exponents. Okay, so to start with, let's remind ourselves of what, the, what it means to say the square root of something. Um, so the square root of 100 means what's a number, or the number, that multiplies by itself two times, because it's the second root, square root, uh, that makes this number right here, this number 100. So, of course, this is um, two numbers actually do this. So, positive and negative 10, both of those multiply by themselves twice to make 100. You can see 10 times 10, a positive times a positive is a positive 100. Also, a negative 10 times a negative 10, a negative times a negative is a positive and that is positive 100. So, um, so what the nth root means is that we're going to take different roots. Okay, we're going to take the third, the fourth, the seventh, the twentieth root of a number. That means, uh, say for the third root, that means what's a number times itself, not two times, but three times to make this number. Uh, and in this case, that number is two. Right? Two times two times two is equal to eight. Now, it's not plus or minus 2 because if you try negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, uh, well, this negative times this negative will be a positive. That'll be a positive 4. Okay? But when you take this 4 and you multiply it by negative 2, you're going to get negative 8. Okay? So, and you'll find in general now that if the root is odd, you're not going to do plus or minus like you did here. With the, the square root, and with all even roots, you're going to include a plus and a minus, but for odd roots, uh, there's no plus or minus. Okay, so let's look at the fourth root, just uh, to keep going with these examples. The fourth root of 81 means what's the number of times itself four times that's going to give you 81? Uh, and that number is 3. Uh, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Uh, these two numbers, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 9, that's 81. Uh, the seventh root of, what do we have here? 2,097,152, okay? So that's, these were smaller numbers. Uh, these are ones we're more familiar with, but this one, it seems really big. So I'm gonna show you on the calculator how we can find that, okay? And there are ways to, to actually use this symbol, what we call the radical, uh, but I'm gonna show you uh, use this opportunity to introduce uh, rational exponents. That's fractional exponents, okay? So I think you can see that pretty well. So the number that we have that we want to evaluate the seventh root of is 2,000, or sorry, 2,097,152. So I'm going to enter that into my calculator. I want to find the seventh root, okay? Anytime you want to find the nth root, right, uh, you're going to raise it to the 1 over n power. I want to find the seventh root, so I raise it to the 1 seventh power, okay? Uh, and I'll find out that's 8. That's 8. So what that means is that 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times itself 7 times is this number, 2,097,152. Okay, uh, so this number is to the seventh root of 2,097,152. Uh, we could also find it this way. I'll bring it down here. We can find it this way, 2,097,152, and we raise it to the one seventh power, okay? Um, so let's continue on with rational exponents, okay? Uh, so just to introduce a couple of properties of rational exponents, let's say you want to do um, 2 to the 2 thirds power, okay? Um, what I want you to remember, I guess the, the very basic thing is that the number in the denominator is the root, and the number in the numerator is the power, okay? The, the power that you're raising it to, that, that you're used to, like 2 squared. Uh, all right, so let me show you what I mean. I'm going to take this number 3. Since it's in the denominator of this rational exponent, uh, it becomes the root. Okay, that's the third root of 
2 squared. See, the 2 became the power of 2. Uh, this is the same thing. Uh, you might see it at a little different notation. I could write it this way, the third root, and then I could square this whole thing exactly the same. Okay. So when we're converting from rational exponents to uh, what we call radical notation, radical because this symbol uh, tells us that we're using radicals. Um, so when you're converting, just take the denominator, it becomes the root. This numerator becomes the power. And you can write it in either of these two ways. Okay? So when you're converting back and forth, keep that in mind. Uh, likewise, if I had the fourth root of 5 squared, that would be 5 to the 2 fourths or 5 to the 1 half. 2 fourths is the same as 1 half. Okay? So uh, that's pretty much 6.1, and I hope that was helpful.